going to have a little chat about barefooting. Because I walk barefoot everywhere. Oh, hello. Some bush turkeys. And as you can see, this ground is gravel. Pretty hard. Kind of got sharp rocks and stuff, but it's a fairly well-worn track. But it's not soft. It's not like walking on sand. But, um, there's a trick to going barefoot everywhere. And I guess we've all read about Anastasia walking through the forest with no shoes on. And skipping around like a fairy. No problem. Even where there's no track. So there's this thing that you have to do. You have to activate your feet. And you have to learn to see with your feet. It's a conscious decision. You say, okay, I trust my feet to step in the right place. See that? No hands. Trust my feet to step in exactly the right place. And I kind of roll my feet down so they land really gently and they roll from the foot, from the back of the foot down. What that does, it gives me kind of time to feel. It's a split second thing, but if you charge through here and land sort of toes first, you're likely to stub your toe or you've kind of got to walk like a fairy. So it's a little bit of rolling action and you know how blind people walk with their canes and they have they have um, extra sensory kind of awareness of what's happening so they don't run into things. So it's kind of like activating that awareness instead of relying on shoes and having something between your feet and the earth. You say, okay, I'm here. Everything's meant to be. And I trust my feet. I mean, I still kick my feet sometimes. I still get cuts when I'm being unconscious, but if I consciously activate and ask my feet to step in just the right spots, it just happens. Now I can film at the same time, isn't that amazing? And talk. Oh, oh we can. There's lots of tree roots sticking up here and I could really hurt myself if I didn't have this thing happening, but I've walked a lot of places barefoot now. I walked around Uluru barefoot. Well, I actually ran in the end because it was so bloody hot. But, <laughs> but um, it's called seeing with your feet. So if you tell your feet to see for you, you can basically have a walking meditation and let your mind be free with whatever thoughts or being present to the bush, to the forest, to the woods. And um, let your feet do the walking. They know what to do. And, I mean, see that tree root? If I didn't land heel first, then I might have kicked that, and that would really hurt. But you just have to kind of tread lightly. Think a bit like an Aboriginal. They spend all their time going walkabout. It's a natural way of living. And just keep barefooting. I mean, and it hurts. When you first start, your feet are tender, they're skin soft, and your feet are gonna to have to get used to it. But this is one of the most important things that you can do in your life to live closer to nature because the connection through your feet to the earth is the way it's meant to be. And it's not only the information that we get through our feet, but the information the earth gets from us and the earth really appreciates being able to feel us skin to skin. This is the earth skin that I'm walking on here and there's direct connection between mother earth skin and my skin. And there's a lot of transfer of information going on. And that's a beautiful thing. And not to mention, now look at this. Let's have a walk through here. This is, this is pretty rocky. And um, 
let's have a think about what that means to be connected with the earth in a, in a really simple, tangible way of being barefoot every day. I don't wear shoes except when I have to go through an airport and they make me. <laughs> but, um, or if it's freezing cold because I'm still working on the cold thing. But otherwise, I'm barefoot everywhere. I don't really care how rough it is. I'd rather feel it. But um, all our ancestors are barefoot. Why is that? Could it be one of those things that really separates us from our true selves? It's just so beautiful. So, you know, we're an electromagnetic organism and we build up a lot of stress in our bodies. Um, having a normal life, a modern life. <coughs> and um, <coughs> the thing is things drain out through the feet. Everything drains through the feet. So if you take the time each day to get on the earth and let that energy drain out, it goes back into the earth. Mother Earth can handle it. Um, you're actually having like a compression release on your electromagnetic system of anything that's built up. Now, if you wear shoes all day, you're in an office all day, you're on man-made surfaces, you go home, you walk in the house, take your shoes off, you walk around inside, you wake up in the morning, you put your shoes back on, go back to work. You don't actually get an opportunity to drain whatever electromagnetic magnetic charge is built up in your body and it causes disease causes blockages you're basically absorbing everything that you've experienced in the daytime and the body's trying to process it it's actually the feet are a release valve that's why things like footies and detox foot baths are so effective for um, healing because they just help crank that um, drainage process up but but look the easiest way to do it is just get your shoes off <laughs> The best things in life are free. So, um, where am I right now? I'm walking through Noosa National Park and it's just so beautiful. Have a look. It's a, um, it's a beautiful ecosystem. It's a very large park. It's surrounded probably three sides by ocean. Um, it's just beautiful. This is where I've lived for a long time. It's one of my favourite places in the world. And, you know, being here and being barefoot makes me feel like I'm putting my feet down on, on at home, grounding myself to my home very directly with the earth. I'm getting a lot of information from the bush straight through my feet. Um, it's just, you know, we are biodynamic, we are communicating constantly with nature even if we're aware of it or not and this is a conscious communication so I just feel so good you know it just feels so good to to be barefoot and feel wherever I am I um I don't like walking barefoot on down streets or you know dirty cities and stuff because then I'm going to take in all that grime and negative energy so I try and avoid those places but any opportunity I have to walk barefoot in different places, different types of nature, it's just so beautiful. And it's the most, one of the most healthful things you can do. I mean, all I can say is try it. See how you go. If it really hurts, just try and walk somewhere in sand or somewhere. You, you can get a, start to get a bit of a build up of skin on your feet as your, the, the skin toughens up. Um, that doesn't have to stay. I mean, you can go through a phase and end up with really beautiful soft feet. My feet are quite delicate and beautiful. Um, I did go through a phase where everything got rough and um, I just really looked after my feet and nurtured them and I'll talk about that on the next, next time I talk about barefooting. But I might have a stop here and um, thanks for listening. Just look at this beautiful stream. It's just so beautiful. Okay, aloha. See you next time.